and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about obeying e-bike laws and whether you do it or not let me just get over this speed bump here so in Oregon here we recently had our e-bike laws updated and that's the first update since before I moved here uh, back in uh, this uh, original law went back to or the previous law went back to 1997 so it's been 27 years since they updated this law and so now that they have the law will they enforce it I don't know I don't know of anybody that's I don't know of anybody that's uh, been pulled over on their electric bike um, so I don't like previously or anytime now since the new law or but uh so I was gonna go over a few laws that I think are the ones that would be the ones that are if we call them broken the most okay up until the speed limit was 28 here I think the 20 mile per hour law uh, speed law Class 2 is probably broken a lot of times, including myself. Um, I've gone faster than 20 miles per hour on my electric bike. And I've gone faster than the 28 miles per hour, so I guess I'm guilty. I have done it. I don't do it all the time, but I have done it before. And it depends on the situation, where I'm at. If I'm on a road that has no... Uh, bike lane and we're just in one uh, car lane um, on each side then rather than have the cars try to go around me uh, I don't always do this but sometimes I will go faster speed so if the road is a 30 or 35 miles per hour yes so if I'm going faster and, and breaking the 28 mile per hour uh, limit I'm, I'm usually going no more than about 35 very rarely um, Can I get anything faster than that with the bikes I have nothing really goes Faster than about 36 maybe 37 on a downhill you might get close to 40, but A lot of times you just can't get going that fast because there could be a stop at the bottom of the hill or whatever so uh, or you just don't want to get going that fast but so if I'm going faster it's it's not much faster and since the law is 28 you could probably do 30 I don't think they're gonna squabble over two miles per hour and if they do wow that's that's pretty low I'd say um, to do uh, two miles per hour, but anyway um, The the problem with the class 3 law here in Oregon now. I like it. I like the fact that we can go uh, 28 miles per hour, but the problem is it's kind of a silly law to me in that You can go 20 miles per hour with your throttle But if you want to go above 20 you got to pedal and I just don't understand the difference. Like I don't know what it, what the, why it can only be one and not both. So that one makes no sense to me. And then, uh, so there's that one. And uh, most times I'm below the 28, unless you count the. Uh, pedaling to get up there. It depends on the bike I'm riding too. 
This bike here I'm riding right now is the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser that I'm cruising around on. And this bike is my pedal bike. I uh, like to pedal this one. And uh, if I get on like my other favorite bike is the Graffiti, Lyric Graffiti, and that one's not a pedal bike. That's a throttle only bike really for me. And so I, uh, that's the bike I would go a little faster if I was riding the two and if I was on the, uh, um, on the road that, like I said, particularly if it has uh, one lane of traffic, one, uh, my finger caught on there, one lane of uh, car traffic. That wind is pretty good right here. Um, so anyway, there's that law. And so technically, yes. I've done that. I've broken that one. Then another one that I think is the... One that a lot of people probably... Let me get past the stop sign. So wrapping up the other one quickly though, I'd like to say that I think having the 28 miles per hour, assuming you can throttle to the 28 miles per hour, if they let you do that, then then that one's pretty good. I don't have any issues so much with that. I'd like it to be a little faster, but like 35, so we can pretty much do ride on all the uh, um, streets within the city. But another one, that gets probably broken a lot, including myself. And I, I have reasons uh, that I do it, uh, whether the reasons are good ones or not, it's up to you or whomever to, you can debate this, these ones, but this one. But it's about stop, or it's about uh, turning or hand signals, basically. So if you're familiar with the hand signals, first of all, you use your left hand or left arm and you're going to so for turning right i can't show you while i'm riding but if you're turning right you make like an l shape um, and so that's for turning right and then for turning left you put you put your arm straight out um, pointing toward left and then for stop it's it's an upside down L and uh, and no I don't always use uh, the only time I'll use hand signals first of all I prefer a bike that has signal lights that's my preference would be to have the bike have that and the only time I use the hand signals would be if there's a car uh, within visual distance that can see me giving the hand signals in front or behind or both of me but otherwise like right here there's no car around so what's the point of using my hand signal when nobody's gonna see it um, so uh, that's a violation I guess even though nobody can see it I didn't do it um, so I guess that's a violation but something else I wanted to mention about this law is that and like I said a bit ago I think that the bike should have if we're going to be on the road we should be um, equipped with a bike that has things like signal lights we should have turn signals just like a motorcycle or anything um, because we are on the road or, or a lot of us are um, and so you know why not have the same features but uh, one reason why I don't like the hand signals besides the one I pointed out to you about no cars around, why even do it like here? And the stop sign says we're going to stop, I'm going to stop. Um, but uh, this bike here, the ride one up, I'm going to show you here while I'm riding. 
So there's my throttle, it's on the left. And yes, I like to use the throttle to get started, especially in intersections, if it's a busier intersection for sure, um, because I don't want to get lagging behind and having uh, causing any congestion in the uh, intersection. I want to get going as quickly as I can, try to be as close up with the cars, you know, to, to ride right along with them, go with the flow. And on this bike, it's on the left, as I just pointed to you, my throttle. So how am I going to use my hand signals and use my throttle? And aren't you always taught from the time you're a little kid to always have two hands on the handlebars? So if we're supposed to have, and I like to have two hands on mine, I don't like to horse around with the no hands thing and all that stuff. And I like the two hands on there because I have control of the bike. So taking one hand off, I don't have the control that I had before when I had both hands on um, the bike. So I don't like it for that reason too. And then let's get to the third one now. Another one is we come up to a stop sign. And I think this one might be the most common one that people don't do. And that's come to a complete stop. Here in Oregon, we do have the law for bicycles and e-bikes qualify as a bicycle. They're in the same category for the law of yield. You don't have to come to a complete stop at a stop sign. I do it anyway. It's kind of become a habit now. I had a lot of people asking me, why am I not stopping at stop signs a full stop? And so I just got to the point where, okay, I'm just gonna show you. Yeah, I can stop, it's not a big deal. So, um, but that's one I think that gets broken the most, probably. Um, and uh, so let me know in the uh, comments what you think. Is there a law or two or three that you've technically broken? And have you ever been pulled over for uh, a violation on your electric bike? If you have, let me know what what happened. What, what did you do and maybe which bike were you riding what, when this happened? And because uh, I don't know anybody that can. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for subscribing and supporting us. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And as I mentioned a bit ago here, if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road.